all, welcome to Univip. In this experiment, we'll be showing about the characteristics of LDR from the distance source. That means how the resistance of an LDR depends how far it is escaped from the source of the light. Now, as we know, light-dependent resistors are the resistors whose resistance depend upon the intensity of light uh, falling on it. That means if you increase the intensity of the light falling on it, what will happen is the resistance will decrease and the flow of current will increase. So it is a kind of, so the name comes light-dependent resistance as in the resistance that depends on light. So in this experiment right here, we're going to study how it depends, right? Okay, let me show you about the setup first. Uh, the things that we need over here is first this thing called a voltmeter, right? This thing measures the voltage. This small body over here with two heads up, this uh, black color means negative terminal, and the red always means positive, right? And the same way we have an ammeter. This is a milliammeter. Now, how it is different from the normal ammeter is this measures the uh, current in 10 to the power minus 3. That means the reading you get from here, suppose if I get 20 from here, that means it is 10 to the power minus 3 ampere. That is 20 into 10 to the mi power minus 3 amperes. All right. So let me explain about the connections a bit really fast. Uh, what we do here is, as shown in the diagram, if you see in the diagram what happens, that one source from the LDR is coming towards the negative terminal, the other source, and from this negative terminal, you see it's going everything in series connection. That is, from this negative terminal to this positive terminal, and this positive terminal leads to the voltmeter over here. All right, from here to here, from this to this, from here to positive terminal, and then ending it to the positive terminal over here. But since we don't have any connection regarding these two, right? So we're gonna connect this negative terminal and this LDR, and this LDR is again connected to this terminal, right? Let me show you again. This to this, from one terminal of the LDR to the another terminal, the negative terminal of the a milliampere. From there, the positive terminal is there. From then, it comes towards the voltmeter, the positive terminal of the voltmeter. This leads to the positive terminal. This will connect half part of your circuit. For the other half, what you do, you take one terminal, that is, you didn't use it at first, uh, from the LDR, and you connect this to the negative terminal of the voltmeter, right? Negative terminal, make sure that. And one more extra wire. This wire is extra because inside this setup, what we have is we don't have these connections uh, perfectly done. This is an integrated circuit, that is, each and every diagram circuits uh, are done inside over here, that means this part was missing so in order to accomplish this we are joining from this negative terminal to the last dot of LDI you use to connect to the negative terminal of voltmeter right so I hope you got the experiment sorry the setup now in this experiment what we're gonna do is we're gonna vary the intensity of light falling on the LDR and then we're gonna check how the resistance varies right uh, make sure okay now let me show you something about this let me switch it on All right it's on over here so we have three measurements over here a b and c this reading a b and c what it does is a means 15 centimeter a indicates 15 centimeter that means the distance between the light source and your ldr is sorry 15 centimeter all right if i keep it to b it is 10 centimeter and if i keep it to c it's five centimeter all right so as you can see the light intensity from this dot as i go from a to B to the C increases over here. All right, let me show you again. A, B, C, intensity of light is increasing. All right, okay, now let me show you the table. Oh, one more thing, and about this little body over here, what this does is, as soon as I move this knob, to see the voltmeter and the ammeter correctly over here. As I move this, the needles over here deflect proportionally. That means what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna set a voltage meter, uh, meter reading and then I'm gonna calculate the, or I'm gonna read the reading, resultant reading from the ammeter. That is a milliammeter over here, which means 10 to the power minus three meters. Sorry, 10 to the power minus three amperes. Okay, this buddy. Now let me go to the experiment and the tables. The table is directly copied from the book, so you might be wanna be having the book right now. We're gonna set up, uh, we're going to be we're going to be seeing the table now, S and that apparatus, right? First, write 15 for A, 10 for B, and 5 for C. Draw a line with this. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to measure 5 different voltmeter reading 
and its corresponding millimeter reading that is we start from 0 0.5 1.0 1.5 2.0 and 2.5 same goes for this 0 0.5 1.0 1.5 2.0 and 2.5 0 0.5 1.0 1.5 2.0 and 2.5 okay there you go now let me fix the voltmeter reading to 0 0.5 my dot is at a least intensity right now the distance is 15 centimeter centimeter is 10 power minus 2 meters remember that now let me set up the voltmeter you see the voltmeter reading over here I'm placing it to 0 0.5 there you go it's kind of hard to see and make sure you have the precise as precise as much reading you can get yes 0 0.5 now when my reading is 0 0.5 you can see my deflection is only first half over here that is my deflection is one dot that means in order to measure this bar over here you can see that first 20 readings 20 milliampere is occupying 10 lines that is one line will be 20 by 10 milliampere that is one line or, or one small division over here one division let's just say that one division will be 2 milliampere so now as far as the reading goes over here if my suppose my line is at 4 division that means 4 into 2 milliampere that is 4 to the 8 milliampere reading right right now my voltmeter reading is at 3 3 into 2 will give me 6 milliampere so when it is 0 0.5 for 15 it is 6 same way if I put it in 1 1 volt Yes, when I put it in 1 volt, it's increasing again and it's increasing to 10. It's 5 division, same way as the calculation, right? Now, if you do this table completely, what will you get is, you're going to get this table, the sample table, which I've already made it ready, right? In this sample table, you can see that A, 15 centimeter, B, 10 centimeter, and C, 5 centimeters. So, corresponding voltmeter readings over here, 0 0.5, 1, 1 1.5, 2, and 2.5, you can see, and the corresponding ammeter reading over here, this. Now it will be very easy for you to fill up the table, all you gotta do is tune up this little body, tune up the little body over here, this thing is gonna regulate the voltage over here and in turn regulating the current in this meter, alright? Now let me show you how to calculate the resistance now. As stated by the Ohm's law, and we all know Ohm's law, we studied since grade 6 or 7, now Ohm's law says that V is equals to IR, in return gives me R is equals to V by I. Now, I have the voltmeter reading, I have the ammeter reading. But remember, the ammeter reading is 6 into 10 to the power minus 3. Why? Because my ammeter is giving me milliampere over here. Okay, now let's get back to calculations. Now, what we do, we calculate R equals to V by I, that is 0 0.5 divided by 6 into 10 to the power minus 3. It will give me a value of 0 0.083. Remember to use calculators and remember to use it precisely as you can. This is giving me this value. Now I'm going to calculate all this, fill it up over here, 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 here. Same goes for everything. You're going to have to keep on filling it up the table, which is pretty easy to do for this experiment. Now at the end, what you're going to do is you want to be putting a bar, small box over here before you go to another thing. Put a mean over here. What we do, we calculate the average value and we write it over here. Same for this, calculate this average value mean and write it over here. Same goes for this mean calculate the average value from here and write it over here okay same here so what my friend did calculate the average value his, his average value is 0 0.094 now what mistake he did is he should not be writing it over here or I should not be writing it over here the best way to represent keep a box down box over here, small space write a mean and then write it over here so that your mean value will be tabulated in the table and which will be easier for you to calculate again same goes for this same goes for this all right now the resultant uh this will be in kilo ohms that means why kilo ohms it's because my current is in 10 to the power minus 3 so when i take 10 to the power minus 3 up it will be 10 to the power 3 that is v by i times 10 to the power 3 that is kilo ohm all right okay now after calculating the mean values what we're going to do we're going to plot a graph in every experiment we're going to plot a graph all right in this graph, we mark the scales, y-axis will represent your 
resistance your x-axis will be the distance you have measured that is 5 15 and 10 so we're gonna put this distance and we're gonna put the resistance over here. we're gonna draw a graph right while drawing a graph make sure you extrapolate the lines with this you draw a graph with your graph and this is the nature that is as far stated in your book if you see your book your sample graph is in this curved manner right this curved manner same goes for this this graph is again a curved manner over here right so what this graph states is if the distance is more the resistance is more that is if the distance from the light source is more the intensity is low intensity is low in turn creating the volt uh, resistance meter to be high when I keep it very near distance this is a very near distance if I see the resistance is low why resistance is low if the light source is very near the intensity falling on it I will be high light will be low that means LDR if you want high current functioning that means the light falling on the LDR should be very very low if you have very low rest, uh, current that will in turn give you a low resistance low resistance more current passing through it right this is a simple experiment about LDR let me show you about the setup once more we have a voltmeter we have a voltmeter right here we have a milliampere which measures from 10 to the power minus 3 amperes we have a small integrated circuits this body over here regulates the volt uh, the distance and the intensity falling on the LDR this body regulates the voltmeter reading over here and the cable connection from first dot to the uh, milliameter then goes to the volt milliameter again the positive terminal of the milliameter resulting to the positive terminal of the voltmeter then again going to the this part but you are ending at the positive terminal of the this device again from the left out part over here we bring it to the positive terminal the only with a single cable and again this last body over here, this body and this body should be connected. Thank you.